Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, we will learn how you can actually create a Zoom basic meeting using the Zoom REST API. Either I can say how you can actually schedule a meeting using the Zoom REST API. Okay, for this session, I'm going to use a Zoom OAuth app. So if you are also going to use a Zoom OAuth app, you must be have a selected meeting read and meeting write scopes. You just navigate to your app inside marketplace.zoom.us. Just click on scopes tab and then click on add scopes. From here, you just need to select meeting read and meeting write scope. Click done. Okay. And if you are uh, going to use a JWT app, then you have no need to add any scope. Okay. Now we first need to create a const variable for the meetings relative path. So inside the zoom constant, we need to create a section called meeting API. And here we say const meetings and we need to pass the user ID. We need to use a string interpolation. Here we need to call API base URI and we then we need to append users need to set the user id and at the end we need to set meetings okay so basically this is a meetings relative endpoint where we can send the payload and we will schedule a meeting okay so this path will be like this so it will be a https api.zoom.us slash v2 the version of api and users and the user id which we will pass from the parameter and then meetings okay at the end, this path will be built like this. So now let's export that. So here we say meeting API and we need to export meetings. We need to format the code and we need to create a helper inside the project root directory. We name it zoom meeting helper.js. Inside that, we first need to import Axios. So we say here Axios via Axios and then we need to import the helper for the relative path called meetings which we have already created inside the zoom constant so we say here require and require from constants now we need to create a helper for the meetings so we say const create meeting async and we need to pass user id and payload basically inside the user id you can pass user email either you can pass user id which will be a grid and you can also pass me as a parameter as a user id okay so if you are using oauth app then you will be able to set the me as a parameter and if you are using jwt app then you need to set either user email or either user id and this api have a medium rate limit that means you can send 30 requests per second with a pro plan and you can send 80 requests per second with a business plus and this limit is only apply the time how many requests per second you can send a request to that endpoint and one host can only send 100 requests per day only okay so that means our host can schedule 100 meetings using this endpoint and this constraint apply globally there is no any plan restriction over there so it is apply on all the plans and you must be have a meeting read or meeting read admin scope and meeting write or meeting write admin scope okay so from the read side you have any one from the read either you are meeting read admin scope and from the right side the same thing the either you have a meeting write or meeting write admin scope okay so if you are using user level app you must be have a selected meeting read and meeting write and if you have a admin level app on a marketplace then you must be have a selected meeting write admin and meeting read admin scopes okay now let's build the request so we say const data await and we call axios here we need to pass the url and we will call the helper meetings we need to pass user id from parameter and we set method and method will be post and data will be payload and we need to set the headers inside the header we need to set the authorization header okay so we set bearer token here we need to pass the bearer token from process.env.access token you can see inside the meeting api i have already added two endpoints regarding the zoom oauth flow and if you are a new here and you have no idea how you can actually create a zoom oauth app on a zoom marketplace and how you can actually apply the oauth flow and get the access and refresh tokens then just navigate to my zoom integration playlist from my channel and watch the sessions regarding the oauth and then just come back here okay so you can see here inside the redirect i'm just setting the access token inside the environment variable and that same token i am setting here access token okay and then we need to bind then maybe say response 
return response and we need to bind cage it will say error and we check if error dot data then we need to return error dot data and if no data then we said something went wrong okay and we need to return the data and we need to format the code and now we need to export so we say module dot export and here we need to export the create meeting helper we need to format the code okay and inside the meeting api we first need to import that helper so here we say const create meeting and we need to require that from meeting helper we need to place a semicolon and at the bottom we need to create a post endpoint so we say app dot post and we say api zoom and we need to set the user id as a parameter and then we say meetings okay we say async request response here we need to define the handler regarding that endpoint okay so here we say let meeting await and we need to call the create meeting helper and inside the create meeting helper we need to pass the user id and we will get the user id from param so we say request.params.user id and for the payload we will get that payload from request.body okay at the bottom we need to return response.json and meeting we need to place a semicolon and need to format the code okay and we need to start the api inside the payload you can set the title of your meeting by setting field topic okay so inside the topic you can set maximum 200 characters long title of your meeting okay so the max constraint is 200 okay using the topic you can say the title of meeting and using the agenda you can describe the agenda or description of your meeting and that agenda have a max 2000 characters limit okay and then you can define the meeting type so basically zoom is providing for different type of a meetings we can schedule or create using the zoom rest api so inside the type parameter you need to specify the type of meeting that you want to be scheduled so basically the inside the type you can pass the integer number of that type which belong to the type of meeting and that number must be belong to this set okay so either you can set one other you can set two other you can set three either you can set eight so if you are setting here one that means you are going to schedule an instant meeting and if you are setting here two that means you are going to scheduling a scheduled meeting okay that means you are going to provide a start time and on that specific time that meeting will be scheduled on your zoom account and if you have a needed recurrence meeting with a no fixed time then you need to specify value 3 here and if you have a need to create a series of meeting or recurrence meeting with a fixed time then you need to specify type 8 and if you are setting here type 8 then you must be need to set the recurrence object inside the payload and neither for other types you have no need to set any other extra fields so in this session we will only discuss regarding the these first two types and then next sessions i will describe individually type 3 and type 8 so the what difference are in these two different type of meetings we have and how we can actually schedule those using the zoom rest api so now let's place a breakpoint here and here and we need to open the postman First, we need to authorize. So we just need to navigate to the browser and type localhost port 4000 API zoom and we say authorize. And we are successfully authorized. You can see we have access and refresh tokens. Now navigate back to the postman. Inside the learn with name collection, we need to create a request and we name it zoom create meeting. We need to change this to post. We need to save that. And here we need to set the URL. So we say HTTP localhost for 4000 slash api slash zoom we are going to pass me as a user id because we have already applied the workflow so and then we need to set meetings save this inside the body we are just selecting raw and selecting json here and here we need to define the payload by default you have no any required field by the zoom api where you are going to schedule a meeting from the zoom meeting rest api endpoint you have a no need to specify any field inside the object payload okay that means there is a no any required field inside the payload you must be need to specify for schedule a meeting but when you are going to sending an empty object to the zoom rest api then the meeting will be scheduled of type 2 
and with the default settings from the Zoom. Okay, so now let's first build that demo. So I'm just going to click on send button and we will see at the end we have a schedule of meeting. I'll just send. Okay, you can see we are inside the response and response is 201, which means we have successfully scheduled the meeting and inside the data object, you can see we have a data. And you can see here, we have a type two meeting created and the type topic is by default zoom account and time zone and all the stuff is by default settings from my account now just we can see here inside the response we have a meeting now let's change the topic so we change the topic or set the topic by setting topic field and we say here learn with navy okay now save this and, and send to guest once again and here you can see we have a successfully scheduled a meeting once again and you can see the topic is changed and topics are learned with navy and type is still two okay you can see type is still two now just set the agenda you can see here we have a default agenda just we need to find that field so we say agenda there is no any agenda field by default so we need to set the agenda field so we say here agenda and we need to say we are learning how to create zoom meeting using the REST API, okay? And we are just going to send this, click send. And inside the response, we have successfully scheduled the meeting with the topic learn with NEG and agenda, we are learning how to create response back. And here now you can see we have agenda, we have a customized the agenda field. And now we are just going to change the type of meeting. Here we say type one, okay? And here you can see we have by default the meetings are going to schedule with a type two now we are changing that to one now I'll send request once again and we have successfully scheduled a meeting inside the data you can see we have a type one meeting and when you are going to creating a type one meeting then the topic will be by default your personal room meeting title this topic will be ignored by the zoom okay you, you have a scene there so this topic set it customized topic will be ignored now just change this to type 2 and you can see here when we are going to schedule a meeting with a type 2 by default it is setting the today date okay start and so you can see it is a start time by default it is a current date okay so we can change that start time with a type two by setting a start time field inside the payload object. So here we say start time and we set the date and inside the date value, you can specify the time zone parameter or if you are not going to passing the time zone parameter, then by default, your account time zone will be picked up by the zoom rest API. So we are just uh, setting 2022 12 and we are scheduling a meeting for 26th and we are setting t for time and we are setting that meeting for 08 and double zero saving this and just send the request and we have a scheduled a meeting with that specific date and time you can see here so meetings is scheduled for the 26th 08 and the time zone is set from my account time zone okay and then we can also specify the duration you can see here we have a duration you can see here by default it is a 60 minutes and we can specify the duration also by setting duration field okay we can set the duration in minutes so we are just setting here 90 minutes okay save this and send request once again and we have a scheduled a meeting on the date 26th with the 90 minutes you can see this meeting is a 90 minute long by default if you are using a basic plan then you have a default limit for the duration is a 40 minutes okay you can also schedule the meetings using the basic plan also but the time limit will be applied for 40 minutes only and this session is going a bit long i'm going to end the session in the next session we will discuss regarding the recurrence meeting using the zoom rest api if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions by my share contact details take care bye bye